Good morning, guys. Today we're going to start a new unit in our math. This is chapter 7, and we're going to be looking at larger numbers, okay? So, in this chapter, we're going to be looking at numbers that go all the way from 12, no, scratch that, all the way from 11 to 100. We've already looked at numbers 1 through 10, and we've had our assessments, and we know those numbers really well. But right now, we're going to start by learning about the numbers that go just from 11 to 15. So I want you to look at my screen here. And on the screen, I have a number chart. My number chart goes from 1 through 20. Well, we're going to just warm up by counting. So count with me. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. All the numbers after 9 are numbers that have two digits, which means they have a number in the ones place and a number in the tens place. I'm going to explain what that means to you by using a 10 frame. So let's look at a 10 frame. Okay, so here is my 10 frame. You guys are familiar with this. You know that a 10 frame is a box that has 10 different spaces in it. Um, if my 10 frame is completely full, you know that I have a total of 10 things, okay? 10 is a two-digit number. That means I have one set of 10. This is one whole set of 10. I have no extras. I just have one 10 frame full. This means 10, okay? So every single spot in my 10 frame is four. This represents 10. It means one set of tens and no extras, okay? Now, let's look at this next number, 11, and see what it looks like. Now, I've switched to base 10 blocks, okay? So you know that if I have less than 10, these just appear as ones. So my screen is showing me how many ones I have. So I have seven ones right now. Now I have eight ones. Now I have nine ones. Well, when I get to 10, I can represent that like that. What happens? is I make a tower of 10. So now I have one set of 10s. This is my group of 10. And I have no extra. Well, if I have some extras, or I have a number that's higher than 10, it's represented like this. So now I have 11. I have one group of 10s and one extra. That is 11. And this is how I write 11. It's a 1 and a 1. If I have 12, I have one group of 10, and I have two extras. So that's represented by a 1 in the tens place and a 2 in the ones. If I have 13, I have a set of 10 and three extras, or one set of 10 and three ones. If I have 14, I have four ones and one 10, and it's written like this. If I have 15, there's my five ones, and here's my group of tens. So with these numbers, 11 through 15, it means I have 10 plus some more. Okay, so let's open up our um, math page, and we're going to work on that together. So you need to grab your math worksheet or math workbook page that goes with lesson 7.1. Identify and write 11 through 15, okay? So what they want us to do on this page is they want us to count 10 and some more, and then we're gonna trace the numbers. So if you look at this sheet, you can see right away that they have 10 frames that are full. Now I explained to you that the numbers we're working on today are more than 10. So you could have a tower of 10, or you could have a 10 frame. They've chosen to use a 10 frame. So I know this is a 10 frame. I know it's full. I don't need to count that. That's 10. So I'm going to add some more to that. I have one extra. So 10 
The next number would be 11. So 11 is a group of 10 and one more. And all I need to do is trace the number. Down here, I have a group of 10 and two extras. So this is 10, 11, 12. 12 is one group of 10 and two ones. For number three, I have a group of 10, and I have one, two, three, ones. So 10, 11, 12, 13. One group of 10s and three extra. For this one, I have a group of 10, and then I have four extra. So that's 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. A group of 10, which is represented by a 1 in the tens place, and 4 extras, or 4 ones, is represented by the number 4. For the last one on this page, I have a group of 10, and then I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 extras. Well, I can also count on to find the answer. So here's 10, next would be 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I write 15 with 1 in the tens place and a 5 in the ones place. A group of 10 plus 5 extras. Okay, let's turn our page over and do the back side. On this page, they want me to count how many balls I have and write the number here. So right here is my group of 10. Okay, and how many extras do I have? I have 1, two extras. So this is 10, 11, 12. I write 12 with, by putting a 1 in the tens place and a 2 in the ones place. That means there's 10 and 2 extra. For number 2, here's my group of 10. Don't need to count that. I know that's 10. It's completely full. That makes 10. Now I have some extras, so I can count on from 10. 11, 12, 13, 14. I write 14 with a 1 in the tens place, because that's one group of tens, and then I have four extras. 14. A set of tens and four extras. Now down here, I am going to draw the balls to show each number. So the number they've given me is 15. There's a 1 in the tens place and a 5 in the ones place. I know 15 is greater than 10. So I'm going to start out with a full 10 frame. There's my 10. Now, I can look at my number and I can say, hmm, what's in the ones place? Well, I know it's a 5. Or, so I can just fill in 5 in my extras, or I could count on. So here's my 10. I could just count in as I fill in the dots. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Or I could have just looked at the number that was in the ones place and taken those extras and put them in this other 10 frame. Okay, for number four, they've given me the number 13. Again, I have more than 10, so I'm going to begin with a full 10 frame. There's 10, but I don't have enough. I have 10 and some extras. How many extras do I have? Well, I have three extras. That's how many there are in the ones. One, two, three. Or I could count. Here's 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay? My extras are represented down here in this other 10 frame. So 10 and 3 makes 13. 10 and 5 makes 15. Good work. Finish up your page, and I'll see you tomorrow.